Hello, my name is Stacy Bidwell and I'm a respiratory therapist with Ohio Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation. In this presentation, we will be talking about reducing panic in COPD. If you have COPD, you may have experienced a panic attack. Not all people that have COPD have had a panic attack, but if you have, chances are you haven't forgotten it. COPD patients are more likely to experience panic attacks than a person without COPD. This is because feeling short of breath can be terrifying, and in some people, our brains interpret this in such a way that creates panic. The sudden, intense fear that can occur without warning is often brought on by an episode of shortness of breath related to the COPD itself. However, when a panic attack develops, these symptoms are intensified and can lead to hospitalization due to the lung's inability to work efficient, efficiently as the person often exhibits rapid shallow breathing or hyperventilation. COPD patients that have panic attacks often experience more COPD symptoms, hospitalizations, and have a worse quality of life than those who don't experience panic attacks. Besides rapid shallow breathing, some signs and symptoms of a panic attack are a racing heartbeat, chest tightness or pain, lightheadedness or dizziness, nausea, cold sweats, and fear of impending death or other injury. So it's easy to see how a panic attack in a person with chronic lung disease can be very dangerous and scary. The good news is, with some effort and practice, there are ways to manage and limit these panic attacks. For those with more severe or frequent panic attacks, behavioral health practitioners can work to provide cognitive behavioral strategies to prevent these attacks. These strategies involve helping the patient identify slight body signs or gestures that might lead to or predict an impending panic attack. The therapist can also help the patient identify coping strategies or things that they can do such as breathing and relaxation techniques to ward off a panic attack. In addition to cognitive behavioral strategies, some of the same strategies used for stress relief can be used to deflect a looming panic attack. Avoiding stressors and things that cause anxiety, support groups, and anxiety medications may also be useful in managing the frequency of panic attacks. This concludes the presentation on reducing panic and COPD. Remember that as part of your pulmonary rehab enrollment, you have the opportunity to meet with our behavioral health counselor. I encourage you to take advantage of this very valuable service. As always, if you would like more information on reducing stress and managing panic attacks, please contact your pulmonary rehab team member.